In previous videos, I talked about Power BI template files, Power BI data source files, all these things that we can save, but I haven't talked about Power BI project files yet. And Power BI project files are super handy. They are one of the options you get when you save a Power BI file. You can choose like this normal Power BI file or a Power BI template or a Power BI project project file. And what's so special about the Power BI project, you might wonder. It's you get not everything in one file, like in a normal Power BI file, you get this one file. You get several files, like for the report, for the semantic model. It's all separated. And now you may wonder, but why would that be useful? Well, this is super useful for version control. Because if you have tried to use version control with a normal Power BI file, it's difficult. That's hard to read. If you use a Power BI project file where everything is separated, it's much easier to find what has changed, what was added, what was removed, all these kind of things. So working together with others, collaboration with others is so much easier working with a Power BI project file. So let's start with like the beginning. We can save a Power BI file, just our standard Power BI repo that we just created as a Power BI project file. It's one of the options when you click on save file. And once you do that, you will see that instead of this one PBIX file, you get several files. You get a folder for the report, you'll get a folder for the semantic model. There is the Power BI project file itself, and there's a git ignore file in there. And everything is stored separately. Now you maybe wonder, I say you see this option when you save a Power BI file. Maybe you don't see it. And there's a reason for that. The moment I create this video, this is still in preview, which means we need to activate it. And to do so, you need to go to File, Options and Settings, and then Options, Preview Features, and you need to enable the Power BI Project Save Options. And once you've done that, you will be able to save your Power BI file like that. So very important, this is still in preview. Everything that's in preview can still change. So nothing set in stone here, but if you're using version control and you want to get started with this, make sure activate it and then you can use it. What happens when we save a report like that? We get a Power BI project file. And then if we use that to open the file in Power BI desktop, it looks exactly the same. Also, if you publish a report like that to the Power BI service, it looks exactly the same, like a PBIX file. However, I say exactly the same, not exactly the same. At the top of your report, you can see that it is saved as a Power BI project. I marked it here for you. And if you click on that, you actually see the location, the name, these kind of things, where the different parts of your Power BI project are stored and what their name is. So working with a Power BI project can be very handy, especially if you want to use version control or if you want to make changes to the Power BI file with external tools. And there are quite some external tools out there you could use. There are some limitations because I think that's also important to know. If you make changes to a Power BI project file, you need to restart Power BI desktop before you see the changes. And you can't directly save a Power BI project file to SharePoint or OneDrive. You will get synchronization errors there. So if you have ever wondered what's the difference between a normal Power BI file and a Power BI project file, well, it's basically that you get your file split in these different folders that you can really approach each part of your file and you can use version control and it works pretty well. I hope this helps to get you a basic understanding about what are Power BI projects, how are they different from a normal Power BI file, and how you can use it. So I would say give it a try. Save one of your files as a Power BI project file. It will not overwrite your old file. You will get a separate file. So you can just try it and have a look how that looks like and how that works for you with version control.